Hey, uh, we're back with another video. I guess we're turning this into a series now and I'm actually loving it. Today I will be showing you how I recreated, remade, reimagined, whatever you call it, this old artwork from way back 2018. From this to this. Just like the last video, I'll be using this program called ZBrush which is an awesome 3D modeling slash sculpting tool. Then after the sculpting part, we'll be sending a 3D model to Photoshop for compositing. The old artwork was originally made in Adobe Illustrator. It is so old, too old that I can't even find an HD copy of it. This is the only copy they have left and I think the original Illustrator file got dumped along with a hard drive that sadly got way past its time and broke. I remember hesitating to post this in social media before as for me. During that time, I thought it was really bad and it was way too far off the expected outcome I had initially planned out and imagined. But hey, at least the frog looked good. I wanted to put in a little bit of a stylistic approach towards the design. The problem I encountered was that I don't speak fish. Now the thing is, I know how a fish looks like. We all do. It has fins, scales, but I'm not really familiar with the in-depth fish anatomy. How and where the mouth would be positioned, how the eyes would look like. And to be honest, I am today's old to know that a common goldfish would have five pairs of fins, even though I owned a pair of them when I was a kid. Just simply blocking out the model to claw longer than expected. I got over it eventually, thank Google Images, and to whoever got hold of an angler fish to take pictures of for the references. If you're an experienced ZBrush artist or a 3D modeler, I believe you can agree that what I'm doing here is a big mistake. Now why is it a mistake you may ask? I did not complete the body before putting details overhead. I know I just got this piece of knowledge by making this but let me elaborate. In ZBrush, brushing your mesh does not really add topology, it pulls topology which means that the more you pull, the less detail you can have. As far as my knowledge goes, there are two ways to fix this problem. It's either you let the program remesh your stuff or add a new mesh and link them together and then remesh it. Just like what I did. Either way, we're gonna be losing a lot of detail. And I just lost about 30 minutes of detail work right here just by doing this. If ever you're planning to get into ZBrush, take note of that. And don't forget to click these buttons right here. <laughs> Jokes aside, if ever you have any other workarounds to get over that situation, feel free to leave a comment down below. It would help not just me, but also all the other viewers out there. If you're familiar with how an anglerfish would look like, you know that it's really ugly.
out as well. With a simple Google search, I can confirm my claim. No offense to any angler fishers watching this video, but yeah, the mere looks of it can definitely give you some nightmares. But my original concept was that I want to make a flying anglerfish look majestic instead of frightening. The question here is, how in the world are we going to make something as horrifying as this prank look distinguished and sublime? I tell you, there's nothing more majestic looking than a goldfish with full-fledged fins. Just look at them. What if we mix them together? A body with features similar to the ones of a goldfish with a head of an abomination such as the angler. Turns out, looks weird, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out to be. Almost done. We'll be heading into Photoshop and let's send this creature to the skies. I know it's way too far off the original artwork, but I really wanted to explore more on what a flying fish can do, can reach, can encounter in a day-to-day -day fantasy world. And I think I'm really happy with how it turned out. A naval pirate frigate on the skies with a seemingly unforeseen encounter with a creature which is not expected to be in this kind of a place. You know, we can call it an odd encounter of two entities which both belong to the seas, now meeting each other in a seemingly familiar situation, but in an unfamiliar place and sizes. <laughs> I think it's okay, I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out to be. Still, there are a lot of rooms for improvement, but the comments are up to you guys, what do you think? Constructive criticism, do you like how it went? Leave a comment down below, I'd be so happy to read them. Don't forget, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe, ring that bell, it would help my small channel out big time. Thank you guys, appreciate it.